Welcome. We are going to be talking about independence in terms of probability, and I'm going to be using a two-way table to address this. Now, when we're talking about independence, what we're looking at is whether or not some event has um, the same probability based on some condition that you're given. So basically, does the probability of the event stay the same or does it change depending on some event that's occurred? I like to use the example of carrying an umbrella. For instance, does the probability that I carry an umbrella rely on some other situation? Now, if the probability of carrying an umbrella was independent, then the probability shouldn't change regardless of whether it rains or not. So the probability that I carry an umbrella should equal the probability of that I carry an umbrella, even if it's raining, given that it's raining. So when you're trying to determine independence, you need to look at the overall marginal probability and then conditional probability. So if I wonder whether preferring math is independent of gender, I want to calculate what the probability of preferring math is. And then I want to consider, consider some sort of conditional probability. So the probability that someone prefers math is 8 out of 19. And then I need to think about, is that the same if I'm just talking about a group of females? Or is that the same if I'm talking about a group of not females? I'm going to divide out 8 out of 19 just so that I can have the decimal equivalent uh, because it's easier when we're comparing to compare decimals than it is fractions without the same denominator just in case. So the probability of preferring math is 42%, not 0.42. What about if I'm talking about only the females? Remember, when I'm talking about a conditional probability, I look at the female group, and then I focus on just those who prefer math. So of those 13, six preferred math. So when I take that six divided by 13, I get 0.462 or 46.2%. What about... If I'm talking about not females, well, there are six not females and two prefer math. So that is 0.33. So 33%. So 33% and 46% and 42% are not the same value, which means that math is not independent of gender. There is some sort of impact. So when a probability event is independent, that means that the probability of that event occurring is the same as the probability of that event occurring given some sort of condition. Now, depending on the question that's being asked, you might have to look at different probabilities. In this case, I was asking about probability of preferring math um, being independent of gender. And so I looked at the two different genders. Um, but if you're talking about whether... Um, maybe preference of English, I would want to look at the probability of English overall, and then the probability of English given that I'm female or not female. Hope that's helpful.